Okay, hello guys so this is the redmi a and it's running line 8 on android 13 and using 64 bit of instruction okay so this is unify rom it means that you can run it on the redmi 10a 9a 9c and also poco c3 okay the code name is angelica Catel, then the leon angelica and Catel, and other stuff okay so in this video i will show you <coughs> how to flash the 64-bit rom <coughs> and make a quick review about rom okay it also i will test the wi-fi sim card the camera gps email and also test using the root beer cpu throttle app list detector <clears throat> and also install some 64-bit apps such as Yansin Impacts, eFootball and other stuff. So stay tuned and check it out. Hello guys, so welcome to meet again with Ombop and in this video I will show you how to flash custom ROM and retroutine 64-bit on Blossom or Garden. Okay, so Blossom or Garden, it means that it's Unify ROM. You can use it on the Redmi 9A, 10A, 9C, and Poco C3. Okay. Uh, the code name is Dandelion, Angelica, Catal, and other stuff. Okay, first thing to do, like usual, let's check the Zating system. You can see right here, I'm using the Redmi 9A <coughs> on Android 10 and it's using 32 bit you can see right here okay and now let's go to the settings button and you can see right here it's using uh, the mu version 12.0.12 on android 10 okay uh, it's using 3 gigabytes of ram and 32 gigabyte of internal storage okay doesn't matter <clears throat> what's the storage that you're using okay first thing to do let's enable the developer options I hit the me first and five times okay and go back additional settings developer option and make sure that you have unlocked your bootloader you can see right here our uh, my device is already unlocked <coughs> And we can see the me unlock status right here. The device is unlocked. Okay, you can always use the official ways, wait for seven days, or simply use the bypass unlock port loader. Okay, you can check for, for my other video. <coughs> okay, next step. Uh, we need to turn off the pawn and go to the fast boot boot. Next. So this is all the file that we needed and this is the step. Okay, I will put all the file and step in my blog. You can check in the description box. Okay, so we need to firmware update, the vendor error, custom ROM and other stuff. Okay. And next let's open the PowerShell or CMD. <clears throat> next step we need to Run the fastboot w command, fastboot dash w, and then fastboot erase user data. <clears throat> and we need also flash the custom recovery. Okay, just the fastboot flash recovery, and let's click and drag the file. We're going to use the orange fox that support the 64 bit. Okay. <clears throat> Then fastboot reboot bootloader to reboot again to the fastboot boot, and then we need to boot into the custom recovery. Okay, so I already copy all the files in the into the microSD, and if you want to install from the ADB side load, it also doesn't matter. Okay, it's also work. Okay, now we are in the custom recovery. Now navigate to the wipe menu right here. 
select format data tab and tap yes okay it will format internal storage done go back and next step we need to flash the firmware update so go to the file right here and navigate to the micro sd okay so i already put it into the blossom folder right here and let's select the firmware update a okay, firmware then the leon 12.5.9 okay swipe it and just for information different device needed uh, different firmware update and also different vendor okay go back and then now let's flash the vendor error okay this is the vendor error for the 9a dandelion okay and when it finishes we can flash the custom ROM okay let's wait it takes time because uh, it's quite large okay done <clears throat> go back and now we need to install a custom ROM okay the line H20 and I also want to edit another file the gaps okay so add the queue find the gaps Okay, this is under the routine uh 64 bits okay so i will choose the nick caps right here <clears throat> and swipe it okay it takes time so i'll skip this one and now it's already done we already flashed the uh, custom recovery and also the gaps okay now let's hit the reboot system Okay, let's wait until it's shown the line H logo. And just for information, uh, like I said before, this is Blossom, support Redmi 9A, 10A, and other stuff. And make sure you have flashed the right for more update. Okay, so for more update from 9A is different from the 10A, also different from the 9c and also different for the c3 okay you can see right here now it's shown the line edge boot logo hopefully we can boot it into the home screen and check all the function oh we now we are in the android wizard just hit next next until it goes to the home screen and here we go now we are in the home screen okay I have installed several apps but it seems that the play store doesn't show up so it means that we must boot it again boot again into the custom recovery and flash the gaps okay uh, just for information some of the rom cannot install directly so you must boot it into android first and then flash the uh, the gaps okay now let's turn it off and boot it into the custom recovery again okay now we are in the custom recovery again select the storage so I put it into the micro sd select the gaps and return and select the, the gaps okay this is arm 64 swipe it okay it will start flashing and when it finishes can boot again to the Android to see if if there's any Play Store on the device yet. And here we go. Now we are in the home screen. So I have installed several apps on this one. You can see right here we have the Jensen Impact and eFootball. Okay, the two apps only run on 64 bits, so it should not run on the stock ROM. Okay, first let's go to the settings uh, right here about one. You can see right here <coughs> we're using a SIM card, it means that we have a safe email. <coughs> there is no problem with the email, 
113 uh, line 8 okay we also have our baseband okay let's enable the build number right here go back let's go to the settings where is it uh, build number go back system <clears throat> developer options and in here we can see the memory usage it's using 1.8 gigabyte from 3 gigabyte okay now let's I usually change the let's enable the show tabs right here and change the animation scale so it will be smoother and if you want to change the display uh, to a smaller size you can go right here right click wallpaper and <coughs> change the IPP grid okay so you ha will have smaller size okay and now let's test some apps right here okay so we're going to check the stock ROM without using mages and other stuff <coughs> you know actually this ROM is very smooth <laughs> very nice Okay, now let's open the dev check. Xiaomi Redmi 9A, then the Leon, Board Blossom, and Retrocene. And you can see right here the interesting set is now 64 bit. Okay, very nice. The hardware, Silistay, MediaTek Helios G25. And from here we can see the <coughs> memory usage. 1.8 gigabyte usage from 3 gigabyte storage using 30 gigabyte from 32 gigabyte yay <clears throat> this is also included the uh, Yansin impact and eFootball that I I have installed <coughs> well, you can see right here there is LTA it means our sim card has no problem let's check the email okay it's shown the email nice let's enable the Wi-Fi okay I'm using the telecom cell by you okay the Wi-Fi also working the Bluetooth also working okay I also test the offline charging also working <coughs> let's go to the Play Store right here and <coughs> Uh, you already seen that I have installed Genshin Impact and also the other stuff. Okay, now let's open the app list detector. It will read mages and expose models. It's safe. You can see right here. And now let's open the root beer. Root beer will set test key and also then this props okay this is uh, it will show rooted but actually it's not because of mages because of the settings on the ROM okay you can fix it installing mages enable enable the height okay what else okay let's open the play store again <clears throat> can see the history from here I have installed Genshin Impact okay and also eFootball some of you guys requested to test the eFootball okay let's open Genshin Impact I would not play this game but I just want to show you that this 64 bit apps is working on our Redmi A device okay nice <laughs> you can play this game on the redmi 9a 10a and other stuff 9c also okay i'm not a gamer so i cannot play games <laughs> okay 
Okay, you can see it's now loading. Just load your profile and start the game. Okay, I will stop this one. And let's open eFootball. There's questions. Is it can play the eFootball or not? Okay, don't help too much. But at least it's working. <laughs> Maybe next time I will try to test the apps. Okay. Okay, let's stop this one. And uh, let's check the CPU throttle. Okay, CPU throttle usually used to test the stability of the CPU and make stress of the CPU for playing games and other stuff heavy apps okay very nice it's about 80 gps okay very nice for the first it's not stable because we just open the jensen impact and also the e football okay, let's stop this one performance is about 875 okay now let's test the safety net okay Let's check if the safety net is past all the stuff. And here we go. Payload fail. Okay, usually because of the network. Let's try it again. But you can easily fix this one. It's images, no problem. <clears throat> Case and open the GPS. And here we go. Uh, seems that the GPS is working. This is my exact location. So, uh, seems that the GPS has, n has no problem. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go to the gallery. So uh, I already take several pictures and also record video. This is the result from the back camera. And this is for front camera. And this is video recording using the front camera. Okay and this is recorded using the back camera <coughs> seems that there is no problem but <coughs> one of the problem is it's re uh, resulting a uh, low volume uh, low volume on the video okay but it's expected from the first time okay because this is the first 60 bot 64 bit rom Okay, and what else? Uh, now let's open the YouTube and let's play some music video to check the sound and video playback. <laughs> the sound and video playback also working on YouTube, so there is no problem while playing music and video. Okay, that's all, guys. So I have uh show you tutorial on how to flash 64 bits the first ROM for Blossom B9A 10A 9C and C3 and also a quick review okay so we have successfully installed 64 bit apps and the CPU throttle root beer and other stuff. I hope you like it and <coughs> if you want to buy me coffee you can always check the paypal and several link on the description box okay so see you in the next video wassalamualaikum